And good morning. Thank you so much. It's 645. Thank you for joining us live on Spreecast. Also simulcasting on Spreaker. Always so glad for you to join us as uh, we are the Kingdom Messenger Network.com bringing you our daily prayer time. This is Anna. I'm Teresa Croft. We are so glad to be able to join with you. Lift up prayer needs that we've been praying for, those that are inboxed in today, and just humbly coming before the Lord to uh, unite in prayer. Uh, we've been. Uh, taken up a little stand of as we are I think I don't know how many days exactly but moving on into uh, elections we're been taking each day a subject and at the end of prayer time we touch on that the subject today that we're going to pray for our country and for our nation has to do with abortion so glad you're here thank you so much let's go to the Lord in praise and thanksgiving as we lift up prayer requests happy uh, birthday Wendy and it's Wendy's birthday. Well, God bless you, Wendy. Wendy. Happy birthday. All right, Anna, what is good news from the Word of God today? Psalm 100. All right, let us pray. Now you got it. Make a joyful shout to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before His presence with singing. Know that the Lord, He is God. It is He who has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and enter into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name, for the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generations. Mm, praise the Lord. Well, Lord, we do come humbly in your presence, Father God, and just give you the honor, the glory that's due your name. Mm, we come into your presence with thanksgiving. Thanking you for your mercy, your goodness. Thanking you that we can call you Lord. And the reason we can call you Lord is you've opened the eyes of our heart so that we could see you and know you, so that we can confess our sins and come boldly into your presence as we believe and confess Jesus as Lord and believe in our heart that you, God, raised him from the dead. We shall be saved. So we join our brothers and sisters that are joining us live on Spreecast, those that are joining us live and recorded on Spreaker, and we come together and just declare the goodness of the Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you that we can use your very word, the word of God, to give you praise. Mm, mm, mm. We praise you with all our heart, Lord. We, I love Psalm uh, 100, uh, Dave was playing on his little iPad out loud, Psalm 9. And it was just so beautiful. I will praise you, O Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of all your marvelous works. I will be glad and rejoice in you. So, Father, as we join with our brothers and sisters, even now as they are lifting up praise in their, in their rooms and in front of a computer, I just thank you that they, too, can add. Lift up praise, lift up thanksgiving. And what a sweet aroma that must be in the heavenly realms. So we just simply join together, if nothing else, to give you the honor, the praise that is due your name. To, to, to be able to declare your goodness and your mercy. And I thank you, Father, that we could pray your word, and whether it's the good news verse or a certain uh, scripture. And then we can announce to our enemies, announce to the principalities of powers in the heavenly realms. We can announce and take our stand, bind those things that would want to hinder our brothers and sisters and loose the Holy Spirit into the rooms, into lives. So we do so admitting, Father, that we need more of you. Thank you, Father, for Psalm 9, for you have maintained my right and my cause. You sat on the throne, judging the righteousness. Thank you, Father, that as it also says that the Lord will be a refuge in times of trouble. And those who know your name will put their trust in you. So, Father, I thank you. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are safe, as it says in another scripture. That you have not forsaken those who seek you and i thank you for each heart that gets up early to seek you with praise and thanksgiving hallelujah that we can sing praises to you together we can use psalm 100 
We can decree and declare the goodness of your word, that you've magnified your word above all else. And in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. So Jesus, be magnified, be glorified in this hour. Before we even lay our request to you, Father, we just thank you that we can come into your presence, that you don't forget the cry of the humble, even if our cry is one word. There's one word that I could cry in prayer. It would be Jesus. So we pray Jesus in the name of Jesus. We speak the word Jesus into hearts that are listening, maybe recorded or live, and they maybe don't know you. Or they need, uh, they, they have such a need that they don't even know how to cry. Let us cry for you and say, Jesus, have mercy on you. Jesus, be your healer. Jehovah Rapha, the God who heals. Jehovah Gira, the Jireh, the God who sees in need and provides. Amen. And we take our stand along with our brothers and sisters that are declaring it now, even as they chat. We're going to take our kingdom authority, who we are in Christ. We are seated in the heavenly places in Christ taking our authority in Christ and praying in that line. And boy, the enemy doesn't like it. No, because we're praying knowing our kingdom rights, praying like royalty, not begging, but praying with confidence, knowing that your ear is attentive to the cries of your people. The righteous cry out and the Lord hears, the Lord rescues, the Lord saves. Father, we do lift up prayer requests of people crying out, needing a touch of healing. Um, I woke up this morning to an email of a gentleman that, believe it or not, has a connection to Frank's wife. We've been praying for Frank's wife, Carly, with cancer, believing God for healing. And another gentleman in that realm, uh, uh, Mike, uh, just announced that he's struggling with cancer. We lift up the others that we've been praying for, Jody. And Nancy and Father, we thank you that we can speak healing in the name of Jesus. We've seen it happen, Cheryl. We've seen you, God, dissolve tumors. We've seen you bring your healing touch. So we will decree and declare, Lord, that you are above any sickness. We ask you, Father, in the name of Jesus, as we bind infirmity over these precious hearts and loose the power of healing in the name of Jesus Christ. The power that comes from you, God. We just speak it faithfully, knowing that you hear the righteous cries of your people. Knowing that you, we can put our trust in you. Knowing that you can be the refuge, the shield, the healer. Hallelujah. Father, I also want to pray for Heather Ingram. She's going to see her dad. And I believe he's in the hospital. I, I can't remember if it's cancer. But I just, I just saw her post on Facebook and just touched my heart she's been faithfully seeing her dad and, and he's getting better and he has little relapses so we just pray for healing father we pray even as heather enters that hospital room she'll bring the presence of the living god because i know she knows you and loves you father in jesus name father we lift up uh, continue to lift up michelle we mentioned her yesterday praying that the god uh, would just invade her heart and she'd push back the darkness and unforgiveness and reach out for you and receive Pray for Nicole, continued deliverance in her situation with Anna, her daughter, and then the situation with her grandson. We lift up Peter's friend's daughter. Mm -hmm. Lord, continue to pray and bind the wicked spirits around her. Father, I pray that that young lady, all she'd bump into would be young people who know Jesus. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Father Chaplain Jeff, who's a Facebook friend, asked us to pray for him. He's a stay-at-home dad because of some situations and uh, he just said, how do you do it? I, I just need prayer. You know, it's the same old prayers, but please pray for strength. He's got, I think, three little boys and uh, just has such a heart to want to minister. But, Father, I pray that he can just run to you and allow you to minister to him and realizing he is ministering. He's ministering to his family, taking care of his family. So we thank you for that. And we continue to lift up Stephanie B. I'll just say that because we have a couple of Stephanies as she wants to have prayer. Father, for those that need healing, 
today, Lord, that maybe are represented here on our live screen. I lift them up to you. I thank you for each heart that's here, Father. I just want to pray for each one right now. Father, I thank you for Robert McCartney, Lord. I thank you that you're raising him up and to stand and be such a man of God, Lord. I thank you for his heart to minister. I thank you that he and his wife feed hundreds with their ministry. And Lord, I just pray that you'll do something so special for Robert and Kathy that they'll know that they know. They already know. But I just, I don't know, I just pray for something special for Robert and Kathy, Lord. Make your presence known. For Patricia, Lord, I'm sorry she woke up at 3 in the morning, Lord. I pray you bless her with abundance of uh, rest. And uh, I pray you help her figure out some of that video stuff that we were uh, emailing back and forth. And Lord, I just pray you let Patricia know you see her faithfulness with her family, with her ministry, and that you love faithfulness. For Heather, Lord, I pray continued healing in her heart that she'd walk in forgiveness. She'd continue to open the gates to you, Father, and close any gates that are not, not meant to be opened in the name of Jesus. For our sister Tina, Lord, I pray for strength for her today. Uh, lack of sleep turned into rejuvenated joy in the name of Jesus. And uh, we ask you to bless her today as she has a workforce coming out to this Christian retreat where she's the director of. And we bless this uh, place, Lord. We pray that and trust you for the provision, for the vision. For Kim, Lord, I thank you for her this morning. I thank you whatever's pressing in on her, that she can lay it down mm. and not carry that burden. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I thank you for Wendy. Today's her birthday, Lord. Hallelujah. We say happy birthday. Thank you, Lord, that in your mind you had Wendy on your thoughts. And before the creation of time, you knew Wendy was going to be here. Bless her. Bless her daughter, uh, Amber, in the name of Jesus, Lord. I pray that you continue to raise them up and heal their hearts and where they've been wounded and make them continue to go forth in joy. For William, Father, I pray for him. I thank you for him being a man of God. I thank you for his stand. I pray, Lord, that you would continue to be the lifter of his arms, that he could walk with strength in the name of Jesus. And for our guest, Lord, I thank you that you know the name, you know the need. And, uh, Lord, I just thank you that you bless that person with your goodness and your mercy in a new, fresh way in the name of Jesus. Father God, I thank you that you're allowing us as we're focusing a little more. And today, Father, we come, we come together humbly with our brothers and sisters and, and, and touching on the abortion. Father, first of all, I just want to thank you that even while we were in our womb, you knew all about us, that you formed our inward parts. You covered us in our mother's womb, as it says in Psalm 139. And I thank you. I know that we can praise you for your fearfully and wonderfully made. In the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you that if there's anyone who's had an abortion that's listening, that there's forgiveness with you and healing with you. That we are praying not in condemnation, but we are lifting you up and praying for life to go forth. For those that are unborn and for those that have made a decision. No, there is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. Father, it, it grieves our heart to see that nearly 55 million abortions have been performed in America since it was legalized. Father, we, I take my stand right here with my brothers and sisters on this issue. And we pray that the hearts of our Supreme Court justice are turned so that Roe v. Wade is overturned and abortion is made illegal. We pray for the hearts of the women who have conceived that Jesus lets them know, convicts them, exposes the evil, the wickedness of putting that life out and shows the truth that that is life in the name of Jesus. And Lord, no matter what, no matter the opinions, we pray that those that are standing would stand in God's love, take a stand, yes, but not in condemnation, that they take a stand in love, even in the way they share their opinions with those who do not agree. So, Father, you have conquered death with your resurrection once and for all. Boom. On the cross, you have conquered death. We thank you. But, Father, we ask in, the, in your name against the forces and the spirits of, of wickedness, of hell, Lord, that, that's gripped this country with this issue. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we break off the spirit of indifference surrounding those who work at 
clinics and abortion clinics. Lord, I know you can open the eyes of their heart and expose what they're doing. Bring conviction. And Father, I know many of the best te- people who testify against this are people who have worked in those. So we believe. Now, we're going to pray for them as part of praying for this issue. And Father, we are praying for women that are faced with a crit- critical dis- this decision. That they would ask for guidance and that they'd seek a, a clinic that would show them the beauty of life. And Lord, we ask you that your spirit would reign in hearts so that they would uh, be able to make that decision. And Father, we just thank you. We ask you to forgive our country. And as we forgive, ask for forgiveness, we humble ourselves now in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Father, as we humbly confess, we continue now to take a stand and say, Lord, have your way. We're praying for mercy, not for justice, but have your way, Lord. Turn the hearts Loose your Holy Spirit, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Father, once again, there's just someone here that's just really struggling with this that I even mentioned and praying about abortion. Maybe it's recorded or live on Spreaker or live on Spreecast. And once again, we stand and say, allow God to bring your healing. Forgive yourself and walk in it. We will be here to pray and lift you up if you want to inbox us or talk to someone off air. But there is freedom for you. And then there, there is forgiveness in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, sweet Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And Lord, once again, we just stand and believe you to take a nation and turn the hearts around. Turn the hearts of this nation around. One by one, Father, if it has to be in someone's sleep, let them know, appear to them, let them know that you are real. In the precious name, in the holy name, in the name above all names, Jesus Christ, we lift up these prayers. Hallelujah. Let's just praise them right now as we end. Let's just give them glory. Thank you, Father, for you are holy. We worship you, Father God. We thank you. We join with our brothers and sisters and give you praise. We decree and declare your goodness and your mercy now, Father. I thank you, Father, it says in the Word that your kindness leads us to repentance. So I thank you in advance for your kindness. Hallelujah. Thank you in your kindness to bring repentance to hearts, to turn hearts around. As we worship you, as we bless you, in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, sweet Jesus. We certainly appreciate you joining us and taking